Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back, ready to conclude Group G. In these matchups, we will see Team Asia taking on Cryonova, Engineer Gaming going up against Ultimate Dino Queen, and Maximum Pyrus taking on MEJP10. Ooh, big matches here. Um, I think this could be a big game because defeat for Cryonova here will eliminate them from the group stage, but a win will give them a slight glimmer of hope. Well, it will put them through, I think. Yeah, it will put them through, even if Maximum Pyrus win. So that's definitely win or bust for those two. And then we have a clash at the top between Engineer Gaming and Ultimate Dino Queen. Can Engineer Gaming take a bite out of Ultimate Dino Queen's winning streak? We'll just have to see, won't we? And then we have Maximum Pyrus taking on MEJP10. Can Maximum Pyrus get the, get the result they need to get through? Or will MEJP10 finish their tournament on a hunt? Well, all those questions are going to be answered now. Alrighty then. In the red corner for Team Asia, we have an Adanaceratops. Crown over, I'll have to watch their tip stats here against this beast. Because we've definitely seen what our tie defense type tie attack synergy combo thingy has done. But in the blue corner for Crown Over, we have our charge type Lambiosaurus. The charge type means that this Lambiosaurus will do more damage in a tie, which could be key to stopping a Danoceratops' tie strategy. Big game this. The winner of this game will go through. The loser of this match will face it elimination. Well, if Cryonova wins, team, there's still a chance for Team Asia to go through if Maximum Pyrus loses. But if Cryonova loses, then it will be certain elimination. Ooh, that's a good start from Cryonova, though. The Lambiosaurus getting off the first hit. Uh, a little bit surprised. I thought Cryonova would be a bigger threat in this group than seen, but... Little moments have cost them, and has got them into the position they're in now. Oh, there's that tire attack there, but as we saw, the Lambiosaurus did deal some damage back, so ties aren't the worst result. And you have that tie breaker there to stop the Dinoceratops from dealing damage with tire attack. Ooh, Cryon over on top early on, though. Ooh, there's the tie. Yeah, look at that. The Lambiosaurus suffering no damage, but the Adanoceratops dead. And Cryon over's dominant start continues as the Adanoceratops bites the dust. A strong start from Cryon over so far, but Team Asia can pull it back as we have seen before. Alright, as for Team Asia's second dino, we have an Ulura Titan. Oh, or the Wolf Duck. Because it sounds like a wolf. Hmm, throat is dry. <laughs> Can Cryon overextend their strong lead or can Team Asia pull it back? Ooh, Team Asia, Team Asia getting their first hit of the match. Not much damage dealt though. Wow. Oh, what's this? It's a green impulse, but who's it coming from? It's coming from Ulura Titan. Both of these dinosaurs have green impulse, but Ulura Titan has the higher technique, which means they're more likely to get it off than Lambiosaurus. Ooh, Team Asia even in the score there with a crept. Lambiosaurus biting the dust. And Cryonova's lead has been cut down to size. Alright then, as for Cryonova's second dino, we have a Cryolophosaurus. The unique Cryolophosaurus with only two secret moves thus far. And one alpha dice, which I don't think we've seen at all. Maybe we've seen it once. I wouldn't say we haven't seen it at all. Ooh, Ulura Titan getting off the hit. Team Asia definitely in the driving seat now. Oh. Oh, Cryonova in a bit of trouble here. 
Crown Crown over stem this momentum. Well, a tie will slow down Team Asia, but that green impulse is a threat. Ooh, could Alpha Dice be what Crown over needs to get turn this match around? Ooh, it's a five. That's a good. That's a good roll. Good damage dealt there. As you can see, Crown over has a very slender advantage now. Oh, but Team Asia gets the crucial hit and takes a 2-1 lead. Right, it all comes down to this now for Crown Over. Because last but not least, we have Super Chomp. Awaken Mode on 3. Well, Super Chomp's going to have to pull, do some work here to defeat Finish off the Ulura Titan and defeat the Super Alio Ramus that has yet to come. Ooh, big hit from Chomp back. Is it lethal though? Oh, it's not. Wow, that's a big surprise. Alright, that's once. Okay, the tie will finish off the Ulura Titan. And even the score for Crown Over. It all comes down to this. As for Team Asia's third and final diner, we have an Alio Ramus. Team Asia, I'd probably say, count themselves unfortunate to lose to Engineer Game, to be honest. But the Dino Tech definitely turned it that match in Engineer's fa favour. Okay, so actually, yeah. Both of these two will have Awaken Mode on the same turn. Because Alio Ramus' Awaken Mode is two turns. And as is Chomps. We start with a tie though. And another tie. No Plasma Anchor, no Heat Eruption. Oh, but the Alio Ramus gets off the wall smash. Team Asia turning the screw again. I think this is all going to come down to who gets the hit while in Awaken mode. Oh, oh, what's this? Heat Eruption? No, it's Plasma Anchor. How big could that be? The Plasma Anchor activated instead of Heat Eruption. Oh, Heat Eruption activated there. It would have been game over for Cryo Nova. How big could that be? And here we go. It all comes down to this. It's awakening time for both of our combatants. Oh, the chop gets the hit! Oh! <laughs> it all comes down to this. Big moment. Big moment for the tournament for both of these combatants. Oh, it's a time! Oh, it's not enough to kill Chop! Not enough to kill Chomp, Cryo Nova, by the skin of their teeth, have claimed a massive three points and has secured their place for the time being in the last 32. What a massive moment that was. Massive moment, that Plasma Anchor. Oh, and the hit in Awaken Mode as well. Massive moments that just tilted the match in Cryo Nova's favour. What a match. And Team Asia will also get a losing bonus point as well. Right, I'll update the table and we'll move on to our next match of this video. Oh, we have another big match at the top between Engineer Gaming and Ultimate Dino Queen. At first for Engineer Gaming, we have an Acrocanthosaurus. Been relatively impressive for Engineer Gaming. Engineer Gaming on quite a roll right now and looking pretty strong coming into this match. But this will be the biggest test he's faced so far. Because in the blue corner for Ultima Dino Queen, we have the Uteraptor. This Uteraptor will be at a tight disadvantage against that Acro. And, just like Engineer Gaiman, I think this will be the toughest test Ultima Dino Queen has faced so far. But, Ultima Dino Queen, the only combatant in this tournament with a 100% record so far. And can she make it 5 out of 5? Or will Engineer Gaiman take a bite out of her winning streak? Ooh, start with a tie. 
I think the Utahraptor won't mind that though, but the burning dash has been triggered. This Utahraptor does have tiebreaker, so if it does get off a hit... Oh! <laughs> okay, three and four, so the Utahraptor is going to get the hit. And there's the tiebreaker, Ultima Dino Queen getting the first hit. But again, that type of disadvantage means that the Acrocamphosaurus will not take too much damage. Ooh, Queen getting off another hit there. The Uteraptor looking pretty good. And that is a tiebreaker hit, so the type of disadvantage will be irrelevant. Which means normal damage will be dealt. Ooh, there's the Tappy Jaras here, stopping the tie. Ties definitely suit the Uteraptor now. Ooh, but a burning dash can change all of it. One burning dash might have single-handedly swung this match back in Engineer Gaming's favour. Yep, look at that. And if a flare sword activates, which it doesn't, oh, that could be costly. That could be costly for Engineer there. If flare sword had activated, the Dino Illusion would have been irrelevant and Engineer Gaming would have a 1-0 lead. How costly could that be? Oh, it's the Papasaurus! Oh, the buddy Papasaurus, the tag team there, saving Engineer Gaming from going 1 0 down. Ooh, two big moments in the match so far. The Mayfly has been wasted. Well, it would have been wasted anyway, because the Acro got like no HP. Oh, there's a tie. No tiebreaker means that Ultima Dino Queen will lose. Well, we'll go 1-0 down, I should say. Okay, as for Queen's second Dino, we have an Epistocela Claudia. This thing will be at the type advantage against that Acro, but it doesn't really matter at this point because the Acro's on such low health, he'll die anyway. But if the Acro does get off hits, it won't do too much damage. Okay. It's definitely the definitely Queen's being pushed so far. Ooh, the tragic sphere there, stopping the Acro getting off another hit, and even in the score. And it's been an even match so far. Little bits, little moments have gone back and forth. You have the tiebreakers here, stopping, helping Ultima Dino Queens in the tie, but you have the Dino Illusion being stopped, and then the tag team coming in. Okay, as for Engineer Gaming's second Dino, we have a Super Talarurus. A Waker Mode might be key here for Engineer Gaming if they want to win this match. Okay, a Waker Mode on two. Ooh, the Talarurus gets the hit. But the Aqua Vortex has been triggered. Okay, that's once. Spike out! Engineer Gaming turning the screw. And this is definitely the biggest test for Ultima Dino Queen now. Can she come back from this? Well, it's not too much to come back from. But Engineer Gaming definitely has the momentum now. Oh, oh, poop! Um. Okay, Engineer Gamer was going to win that, so I'll give them the hit. Which will put them 2 1 up anyway, so, yeah. Oh, oh, good. This light recovery will heal up the damage, so, not, not too much harm done there. <laughs> Oopsie! Near my butterfingers. Yeah, the light recovery will heal up the Talarurus a bit. The Awaken Mode will half its health anyway. Yeah, okay, that's, that's fair, that's fair. Engineer Gaming has the 2 1 lead. Alright, as for Queen's third dino, we have a Super Rajasaurus, and he's got to have his work cut out here, because Engineer Gaming is definitely on top now. Okay, that's a five. Ooh, that's an also a five. The ties will suit Engineer Gaming more though, because he has the lead. I feel like I'm going to sneeze now in a minute. 
Okay, that's one. Okay, open the Dino Queen. Wait, the mode on three. Oh, oh, this this bloody Tarot is on the roll. A bonus point look, win looks very likely now for Engineer Gaiman, which is not what I'd expect. Oof, but yeah, it's the ultimate Dino Queen even gonna get a hit? Uh, the answer to that is no. Well, it is an oh, it is the first defeat of the tournament for Ultimate Dino Queen, and Engineer Gaming continues to impress. As they defeat Ultimate Dino Queen, and I think will top Group G. Wow, quite an interesting match there. Right, we'll update the table and we'll move on to our final match of this video and the final match for Group G. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Maximum Pyrus taking on MEJP Tech. At first for Maximum Pyrus we have a Shunasaurus. This win or bust for Maximum Pyrus here, a win will see them safely through the last 32, a defeat will see them eliminated. Um, I think a losing bonus point might be enough. I'm not sure how they feared against Crown Over and Team Asia. I know they lost to like one of them. I'll have to double check the matchups, but until then, it's basically win or bust. Anyway, as for MEJP10 in the blue corner, we have a Panoplosaurus. We saw what this Panoplosaurus can do, but it's been quite a disappointing tournament for MEJP10. It hasn't quite happened. But can they res can they go out with a bang and just just have a bit of a late flourish? Can they, can MEJB10 get a, get a win in this tournament? I, I, I'm rooting for MEJB10. I hope they get a win. I hope they get a win. You know, I don't, I don't want to see people lose all their matches. <laughs> no matter how bad their teams are. You know, that's, that's why I do the group stage. That's why I do group stages. You know, it gives, gives players a chance to see their teams win. But that hasn't worked for MEJB10. The Shunasaurus on top. MEJP10 yet again getting beaten. Ooh, but here comes a Quake Saber. The Panoplosaurus fighting back. But the Aqua Vortex there being triggered. And the Aqua Vortex be activating. I don't think this will be lethal for the Panoplosaurus, but it will leave its health quite low. Well, lower. Yep. And it will nullify all their moves. But despite that, the Panoplosaurus does get off the hit. And finishes off the Shunasaurus and gives MEJP10 a 1-0 lead. But we've seen them in a winning position before. And it hasn't worked out. Okay, as for Pyrus's second dino, we have a Lanzusaurus. Watch out for that super impact. As we have seen before, it definitely does a lot of damage. Ooh. <laughs> uh, talk too much, I do. Oh, there's a hit from Lanzusaurus to finish Panoplosaurus off and even the score. Remember, only a win will do it for Maximum Pyrus and possibly maybe a losing bonus point, but I'll have to check the matchups. Anyway, as for what's his name, MEJP10 second I know we have a Joe Borea. Uh, this Joe Borea is pretty decent. But like all of Emmy's dinosaurs, they just they've just been a bit underwhelming. Ooh, the tie. Ooh, the Joe Barrier does get off a hit. <laughs> it's like every time every JP10 gets a hit, I'm like, ooh, it gets a hit. He got a hit, he got a hit though. You know, it's a consolation. Yeah, I, I feel bad for them. They haven't won a match so far. They might win this one. They're in a good position. I mean, I mean, they're not getting annihilated, but they're not winning. 
you know, it is, it is an even match so far. But the Lanzi Soroso is getting off hits, and here comes a Tail Smash. Oh, that's a tie. No super impact from Lanzusaurus. Until now. Although, that's not the worst case scenario for any JT10 because that means the super impact is wasted, basically, and can't be used against Emmy's next dino, which is Allosaurus Atrox, which also has the type advantage over this thing, so don't count Emmy JP10 out yet. But as for their third dino, we have Allosaurus Atrox. Hope you like the one I made in the mod showcase that I did not too long ago. Yeah, part of the problem for Emmy is they have Stomping Hammer as its crit, like it's not not them compatible with this guy. You need like something like Tail Smash or s Biting Wind, ideally. Okay, that's a tie. Ooh, the Atrox gets off the hit. Here comes a Neck Crusher. Not too much damage dealt though, because Atrox's power is all in the crit. However, a neck crush of here will be enough to finish off Lanzusaurus and drop Maximum Pyrus down to their last dinosaur. That dinosaur being, however, the Giga Spectral Armor. This beast will be at a type advantage against the Allosaurus Atrox. And that type advantage will probably swing this match in the favour of Maximum Pyrus. The Goma moveset as well. Quite deadly indeed. Oh, that's a tie. No heat eruption though. Oh, that's another tie. Ooh, a crit from Allosaurus Atrox. And it's not a wind move, so here's where having biting wind would be pretty, pretty bad. The stomping hammer there, and it's gonna do damage to Gigas. Look at that! Can Emmy JP10 secure their first win of the tournament? Oh, a burning dash though! Burning dash gonna do a lot of damage to Atrox. It might even kill it because of that type disadvantage. Oh! Oh, not too much damage though. But there's the hurricane beat being triggered. Oh, that's a tie. Wow, how tight this match has been. Oh, MEJP10. Oh. <laughs> MEJP10 just could not close out the match and narrowly, narrowly gets defeated by Maximum Pyrus. But let's not take away the fact that Maximum Pyrus here got that big win that secures their place in the last 32. So well done to Maximum Pyrus. And that will eliminate Team Asia. Uh, but poor MEJP10. It, it, it just wasn't meant to be. Right, we'll update the table and we'll end the session. Well, look how tight Group G ended up being. Have Engineer Gaming up top with 14 points. Ultima Dino Queen in second. Look at the difference here. Literally one bonus point separates these two. Of course, Engineer Gaming would be top anyway, regardless of that bonus point, because they beat Ultima Dino Queen. But definitely, these two could be ones to watch in the tournament going forward. And then we have Maximum Pyrus in third. And then, just sneaking their way through, literally by the sky. In of their teeth, we have Cryonova in four. Like, it was literally, they literally were a sliver of health away from being eliminated at the group stage. Like, that is how tight it is. It, like, Cryonova literally snuck into the top four. It's so tight. Like, Team Asia was so unfortunate. But it goes to show how massive those bonus and how important the actual matchups are. Like, you want to beat the other player, so if it comes down to you and them, you will be above them on the matchup. But yeah, look how tight Group G finished, especially down here. And then Maximum Pyrus there, big win over MEJP10. Only just, though, but again, only just by the skin of their teeth.
And then poor MEGP10 at the bottom with zero wins. Two losing bonus points. Sadly not enough. It just didn't quite happen. I, th I think they got drawn into a pretty intense group. I mean, these four especially. And then you have Team Asia kind of surprisingly doing well as well. So MEGP10 got drawn got a really tough draw i think if they were in maybe maybe in group e maybe they would have fared a bit better they would have fared better but you know in this group this turned out to be a very tough group for them but and it is it is kind of sad to see that they didn't win a single match but hopefully hopefully we'll see mejp10 again in a future tournament and maybe they'll do a bit better but as of for now as of now they are eliminated so that's gonna end group g so i hope you enjoyed Stay tuned for next time, where we will conclude the group stage, and conclude Group H. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.